Hello, my amazing second grade artist. I'm back this week and we're gonna be starting a new project. We are going to be making these flower vase collages. A collage is a piece of artwork where you use lots of different materials. So you can see here there's popsicle sticks to make a table and we've got different kinds of paper. I have some glitter glue and some foam stickers and I used markers. So lots of materials to make our collage. So we glue them all together and make a picture. So the first thing that we're gonna do is talk about the artist that we're looking at for this week and her name is Carrie Ambrosino. I'm gonna show you one of her pictures. This is one that she did, a painting she did of these two cats. And Carrie Ambrosino is a folk artist. That means that she didn't go to college to learn, learn how to do art, she just taught herself. And so she is from Brooklyn, New York. This is a map of the United States. We live in the United States of America. We live in the state of Mississippi, and she's from all the way up here in New York. And she has been painting ever since she was a little child. She loves animals, so a lot of her artwork will have animals in them. And she also likes flowers and trees, so she does a lot of paintings of those things also. This one is a lot like what we're going to be doing. So you see there's a vase and all these pretty flowers. And then this is her table, and she's used lots of pattern. So remember, pattern is when we repeat lines, shapes, and color. And you see how she's made these patterns to make a table. And then look at all these pretty flowers. They're all in these circle shapes, but she's drawn different kinds of flowers in there. I really like that and use lots of bright colors. So that's what we're gonna be doing on our collage. So the first thing that you're gonna do, your teacher's gonna give you a piece of this cardboard. This is what we're gonna glue everything to. So on the back, I want you to write your name, your school, your grade and your teacher. So take a little time to do that. And then you'll flip it over and your teacher will have a stack of different colored paper that we're going to attach to this. So you pick what color you like and then you're gonna take a glue stick for this part and put glue all over your cardboard. Try to get really close to the edges so it'll glue down really good. I'm gonna roll out a little more glue. Okay. And then try to line your paper up really good before you stick it. So see if it makes lines up. And once you get it on there, you press it down and kind of take your hands and go in a circle like I'm doing, and it'll make it stick down really good. All right, the next thing is we're gonna make the table and we're gonna use popsicle sticks. So everybody will get four popsicle sticks. They'll look like this to begin with. And you're going to take your markers and draw on them. So you see, I've made patterns on my popsicle sticks. Every one will be a different pattern. So I've made dots and lines and spiral lines and triangles. So use lots of bright colors and I want you to decorate your popsicle sticks. Okay, once you've got your popsicle sticks decorated, then you're going to glue them on. So this time you're gonna use white school glue because it will stick a lot better. And you just put a line of glue on each one and then stick it at the very bottom of your paper. We're just gonna kinda put them above each other. And this is gonna be like our table, kinda like the table that we were looking at in the piece of artwork that Carrie Ambrosino did. Okay, now we've got all those down. Now, the next step is to make the vase. So, your teacher will have a pile of this patterned paper for you to use, and I want you to um, pick whatever pattern you want for your vase. Try to pick something that will really stand out and have contrast against your background, so it'll be very different. And you're going to turn your paper like this. So the long side is facing you going across. So this is horizontal and you are going to fold it in half 
like this, okay? So we're going to draw half of the vase here, and then when we open it up, it'll be a full vase. So take a pencil, and there are several ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you a really simple one first. You can go, you don't, this will be the top of your vase, so you don't have to draw anything right there. You just come over a little bit, and I'm just gonna draw a curved line like this. You see that? Now watch what happens when I cut on that line. Now open it up, and there's a very simple vase shape. It's symmetrical, it's the same on both sides. Okay, let's do another one. All right, so again, you're going to fold your paper over. This time, I'm gonna do another very simple one. Now, you, I just want you watching now and thinking about what yours will look like because I'm showing you several options. So I'm gonna go over a little bit and then I'm just gonna make a diagonal line that comes down this time. It's kind of slants. Now I'm gonna cut the line. Let's see what this vase looks like. See, another very simple vase. And I'm gonna do one more, and this one will be like the one that is in your, on the, the one similar to the one that I showed on the example. So I'm gonna fold it. Okay, now this time it's gonna be, I'm gonna make a little bit, bit fancier one this time. So I'm gonna go over, I'm not drawing, I'm just kind of moving my pencil over and I'm gonna kind of make a line that slants a little bit, and then it's gonna go around and curve. Okay, so let's cut this out. Okay, and there's that kind of vase. So that was a little bit fancier vase, wasn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to glue this vase onto my table or above my table. So this time I'm gonna go back to my um, glue stick because glue sticks do better with this really thin paper. So I'm gonna put glue all over it. I'm gonna try to get real close to my edges so it won't be peeling up. And then I'm gonna stick it down and I'm gonna do my hands like this and smooth it really good like I showed you a minute ago. Okay, there's my vase. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is start making flowers. And remember when we looked at Carrie Ambrosino's work, her flowers were all in these circles. So we're gonna make some circles. So your teacher will give you a circle template like this, and these show different size circles. So these circles down here are really way too big. So you would be using these smaller circles, just this bottom row and maybe this one. And you're just going to take your paper and draw some different size circle circles and some different color circles. So you just trace it in there and then you cut that out. So I've already made some. These are some of the circles I made. See how they're different colors and they're different sizes. So I'm gonna start thinking about where I want my flowers to go. So I'm going to just put some glue Again, I'm using the glue stick. And I'm gonna put one here. And it's okay if it kind of hangs off the paper a little bit, it's okay. I'm gonna put my bigger ones first and then I'll overlap with smaller circles. You decide where you want your circles to go though. So I'll put an orange one. I haven't done an orange one yet. Put him right here. Now I'm gonna think about putting my, these smaller circles inside. But if I were to put a pink there, that doesn't really stand out. There's no contrast. So I would put it here. So see how that really stands out? So you don't wanna overlap with the same color. You wanna use different colors. So then I'll put this yellow on top of the orange. And it's just a little bit smaller. You'll just see a little bit of that orange sticking out. In. my last one so you need at least six circles okay the next thing you're gonna do is draw some leaf shapes 
out. So I have a piece of paper and I'm gonna make my leaves blue and yellow because my background is green and I want them to really stand out. So you'll just take your paper and you will draw some leaf shapes. See how I just make two curved lines that come down. So you need probably six to eight leaves, probably eight would be better and they can be different sizes. So you will just draw those and then cut them out. I've already got some here. And before you glue them, use your markers and make some lines on them to represent the veins in the leaf, in the leaves, okay? So draw that, then you will glue them on. So I'm gonna start adding my glue. And you can kind of slide them up under your flowers and they'll look like they're kind of coming from behind the flower, I like that. You kind of overlap on your vase a little bit. You can put many leaves if you want to. I only made a few to show you, but you can put more than this. This one needs one up here. I like it when you kind of slide them under there because it, that's how a flower looks. The flower usually overlaps the leaves. And it's okay again if they hang off the paper a little bit. Okay. All right, now we've got our leaves on there. So it's really starting to look like some flowers in a vase, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, oh, everybody gets to get one of these foam flower stickers. So your teacher will have a bag of these. You only get one though. And so you are going to peel the sticky side off, the sticky paper off, or the paper off so you have the sticky. And you can put it wherever you want. You can put it on top of one of these or you can put it by itself. You decide how you're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna put it right there by itself and overlap those, okay? All right, now you can take your markers and go in and decorate your flowers. Remember on these, this one from Carrie Ambrosino, I showed you and then she had painted all these different kinds of flowers on here. So you can do something like that inside of yours. So I'm gonna take this purple marker and I'm just gonna go around and make petals. And I'm making petals by just making these curvy lines that go around that orange circle. And then maybe I'll go inside that orange circle and make a spirally line. Think of all these different designs you can do to add to yours. Let's see, I think I'll use orange again and I'll just make some lines that come out like this. And then maybe a circle. All of your flowers, you need to draw some designs in them. Think about how you could be creative and draw some different designs in yours. So I'm gonna make a heart. And then I'll make some lines come out. Your teacher can post the picture of Carrie Ambrosino's flower and vase, and she can, you can maybe get some ideas from that. Now, if you have any places where there's big gaps, you can draw some stems to make it look like the flower's connecting. You can't really see mine, but if I came over here with my green marker, I could make a little stem that goes up there to the flower. Okay? So doesn't that look good? And then, this is, up to your teacher, but if she wants, and you have been very good and followed all the directions, she can give you some glitter glue and you can add just a few little dots of glitter glue on your picture, just to add a little bit extra also. That's only if you've been very good and follow directions. And then the last thing we're gonna do for our background, just to spruce it up a little bit, we're gonna take some oil pastel and we're gonna just kind of shade in very lightly a little bit of our background. So you need to use a color that's very similar to your background. So I have a green background, so I'm going to get a green oil pastel and I'm gonna kind of put it on its side and just really lightly, see how I'm using it on its side? I'm not coloring really hard, I'm just really lightly going around and filling in some of this and it will have it will add some texture to our background 
and just give it a little more detail. So I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna try to not get on my vase and my flowers. For this coloring, it's okay if you don't go all in the same direction. I'm just really lightly going in and doing that. Okay, okay. Now, that is our flower vase, our collage. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to try really hard to do a good job. And I will put these on Artsonia so your family members can see what a great job you've done. I'll see you next time. Bye.